commit a bank I mean, a robbery in a mint, then sneak back into the prison. Now, what does this movie Seven Times Seven got to do with Gopika? Look at the mobile number, there are seven sevens there. <laughs> and the movie is about prison. She is a law student, and lawbreakers will end up in prison. So, Gopika says a smile is the only makeup I would like to wear day or night. And I would like to request uh, her uh, evaluator, Tushar, to read the objectives. And, uh, Thank you, Tim Modi. My target speaker is giving her project uh, CC5. The objectives of project are use stance, movement, gestures, facial expression, and eye contact to express your message and achieve your speech purpose, and make your uh, body language smooth and natural. A note to myself, five to seven minutes for the speech. Over to you, Tim Modi. Batting the wire, all the best. Thanks. Good morning, Toastmasters and guests. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. For the past one week, there has been an issue that has been gripping the nation. It finds place in all the newspapers and news channels. Can any of you tell me what that is? Intolerance. Intolerance. Very good. Exactly. Intolerance. And after I read about intolerance, what I felt was that it stems from a sort of prejudice bias that we hold against different sections of the society. So I thought I'll do my next CC5 on prejudice and started researching about classism, casteism, prejudice based on religion, etc. And then yesterday, my 15 year old cousin comes running up to me and says that he wants to have a look at my Facebook account. So I let him do that. And after two minutes, he comes slowly with a frantic expression on his face and says, Kopika, you have only 30 friends on Facebook? <laughs> and only 15 likes for your profile picture? You seem to be so unpopular. Send friend requests to people. Get a life. Welcome to the modern era where people are judged not only ba on the basis of caste, religion or class, but also based on their cyber footprint. The more number of friends you have on Facebook, the more likes you have for your profile picture, it means your social status is as greater. And it evokes tremendous admiration. Posting selfies with your hubby every hour means you're having a happy married life. <laughs> And God forbid if you're not on any of the social networking sites, then you're branded a recluse, a boring person who has nothing much going on in his life. Moving on from social media. All of us know how difficult it is for a bachelor to get a house on rent. So the other day, one of my friends turned up home looking very grumpy. And when I asked her the reason, she said that she was on the lookout for a house and though she was ready to pay extra, none of the house owners were willing to let her in. The reason? She did the grave error of telling them that she was a model. And since she was a model, it was presumed that she would wear short clothes, go party with boys and drink. My dear Toastmasters, just like Tiny drops of water make the mighty ocean. These seemingly small preconceived notions are what set the base for a number of prejudices that exist in society today. But big or small, there cannot be an iota of doubt that prejudices do confuse the past, threaten the future, and render the present inaccessible. What we fail to understand is that when we are prejudiced against somebody, we lose the ability to see them as they are. It completely blinds us and just clouds our judgment. No wonder it is said that prejudice squints when it looks 
and life when it talks. There are innumerable examples of instant of people and ideas that have succeeded in removing the labels that society has thrust upon them. They said women lacked strength and willpower. But Irom Sharmila, who has been fasting for 15 years against a draconian law called as the Armed Forces Special Powers Act, proved them wrong. They said old people were only fit to sit and relax in their reclining chairs. But Colonel Sanders, who started the Kentucky Fried Chicken, KFC, at the age of 65, proved them wrong. Why? There was this adage that great speakers are born and not made. But this organization, Toastmasters International, and each one of you sitting here, have battled the bias to prove that great speakers are not necessarily born and can also be made. I am a student of law and what I have learned is that one of the fundamental tenets of criminal jurisprudence is that even if a person is accused of a crime, he cannot yet be branded a criminal until it is proved beyond a reasonable doubt that he and only he committed the crime. Now when this benefit of doubt is extended to criminals, it is ironic that we do not give it, we do not extend this benefit of doubt to the rest of the society. Trust me, if these prejudices are rooted out, then this issue of intolerance will no longer exist. For it is good to remember and I remember that our Toastmaster Jalini also told me this one day that we never know how a man has lived until we crawl into his skin and walk a mile in his shoes. Thank you. Lacking the bias to the